Welcome to Wave Rider, the original volume riding plugin. In this video, we're going to show you how easy it is to set up and use Wave Rider in Pro Tools. Unlike other plugins, Wave Rider requires you to set up the peripherals for its functionality. So, you set up Wave Rider just like you would any other MIDI control surface. If you don't have any control surfaces installed, you can simply select all four banks for Wave Rider ports. If you do have a controller installed, then you can only use one bank of eight faders with Wave Rider. Please note that Command 8 is not compatible with other MIDI controllers, so it will have to be disabled. Check the supplied documentation for further details. Wave Rider is the first plugin of its kind to write volume automation on a track in order to maintain a constant level for the incoming signal. Let's look at how easily WaveRider can help you improve your vocal track, as well as other solo instruments. Check out this unprocessed vocal track first. Supposed to go to college to earn more money. Education's got nothing to do with it. Supposed to read the papers to stay informed Because if you don't, you'll have nothing to talk about at dinner Now, let's put the Wave Rider on the track The first step is to select which track Wave Rider is to control In this instance, it's track number 2 The fader went down to minus 0 0.2, indicating Wave Rider is controlling it you could also hit the test button to move the fader momentarily. Let's put the track on latch mode. By default, Wave Rider will target minus 18 dBFS or 0 VU. It'll bring the low level signals up and high level signals down. If you find that consonants and breaths are getting boosted too much, you can do a couple of adjustments with the behavior slider and the set silence slider. Set Silent Slider defines the range for low-level signals in which the Behavior Slider operates. As we put the Behavior Slider towards the lazy side, let's watch the effect on the signals that fall within this range. We're seeing less gain on the low-level signals, however attenuation is not affected. Let's raise the Silence level and put the Behavior Slider to the right a little. Supposed to go to college to earn more money. And now, Education's there's significantly less gain on the low-level consonants. Let's set the silence level a little higher. And yet again, the more you raise the silence level, which acts like a threshold, the more subtly you'll have Wave Rider controlling the lower-level component of your signal and bypassing breaths. You can also choose to park the fader on silent passages by activating Park on Silence, and setting a fader position. Once you're satisfied with the settings, don't forget to highlight the automation and nudge it back in time by 40 milliseconds for optimum results. For playback, you need to put Wave Rider into bypass or simply remove it, otherwise it'll keep writing automation. Let's hear the outcome. Supposed to go to college to earn more money Education's got nothing to do with it. Supposed to read the papers to stay informed. Because if you don't, you'll have nothing to talk about at dinner. As you can hear, the vocal track came to life with full volume and dynamics. Multiple instances of WaveRider can perform multiple functions with the information from a single track. Let's put Wave Rider on this track and assume it's all finely tuned for ride mode. Okay, so let's put another Wave Rider on the same track to control a different track. This time for ducking purposes. The park on silence comes on, indicating that the fader will jump to the park level if there's no signal present. We started he was struggling he was really struggling to hit anything really and with the default settings you may find that the range is too large for your application let's fine-tune it park level is where the duct track usually a music track will jump to when there's no signal in the inserted track so let's bring it down to where we think is a right level for this music track 
and the ducking range slider determines how much below unity your track will be ducked. You can also apply this on auxiliary tracks for added control. Well, uh, when we started he was struggling, he was really struggling to hit anything really, I mean, let alone the driving range, he was uh, you know, struggling to hit anything and really it was a rebuild job, so, and Henrik was prepared to do that. Attack time and release time are easily adjusted with the behaviour slider. More pedantic setting will give you a tighter attack, and a lazier setting will give you a more relaxed ducking and parking. A few tries with different park, behaviour and ducking range levels, and you'll achieve the best ducking second to only human touch.